Hi guys, my name is Lala. Today I want to show us how you can draft your perfect armhole. Yes, your perfect armhole for your bodies, your dresses, your jacket, and all of that. So to draft um, a perfect armhole, you need three major measurements. Your armhole circumference measurements, your bust circumference measurements, and of course your across back measurements. Okay, so I have my pattern paper here already. This edge of the paper is going to serve as my shoulder line. Then from my um, shoulder line down here, I've, drew, I've marked 17 inches. This is going to serve as my um, waistline. Okay, we don't really need it, but I'm just drawing it for you know, for further um, details. Okay, so now after you've drawn the shoulder line and the waistline, okay, there's a line in between the shoulder and the waistline. It's called the chest line. How do you get that? It's very easy. All you do is you divide your um, arm circumference by 2. So, my arm circumference is 18. If I divide that by 2, that's going to give me 9. So, I'm going to mark 9. So, half the distance from your shoulder to your chest line is half of your arm circumference measurement. So, I will just join them together, the points like this. Okay, so this is my shoulder line. This is my chest line, and of course, this is um my waistline. Okay, so we're going to be drafting the ammo for both the front and back bodies. So the first step, okay, I'm going to divide this into two. So um this is about um 24 and a half inch. Meanwhile, the, the, the perfect way to divide um the, the two blocks into two, that is your front and back blocks, you use your bus circumference measurements. Uh, that's quarter. Of your bust circumference measurement. For instance, I'm working with a bust circumference of 38 inches. So 38 divided by 4 is going to give me 9.5. I'll add 1 inch for seam allowance. So that will give me 10.5. I want to get my front and back blocks. So you divide your bust circumference by 4, add 1 inch for seam allowance. Then you're going to be having two rectangles. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna understand what I'm saying now. So now I have two rectangles. Okay, so this is front, this is back. Let me write it so that it becomes understand. So this is back and this is my front. I hope that is clear. So this is going to serve as my center front, and this is going to be my center back. Now on the shoulder line, I'm going to mark half of my across back measurement. I'm working with um, 15 for my across back measurement. Half of that will give me 7.5. I'll mark 7.5 from my center front towards the side, 7.5. I'll also come to my center back and mark 7.5. So for my center back here, I've marked my across back measurement. I'm going to do the same thing on the chest line. I'm going to mark half of my across back measurement. On the center front also i'll mark half of my across back measurements so i'm going to have um, a, a broken line okay this is not the true angle so i'm just drawing a broken line okay like so like this now on the chest line i'm going to mark quarter of my bust circumference plus one inch same allowance same thing on the back I'm going to mark quarter of my across back, sorry, quarter of my bust circumference measurement plus one inch for seam allowance, okay? Now, we want to draft the perfect armhole. Before you can draft the armhole, you need to place a neckline. So, standard neckline is 3 by 3. I'm not saying everybody uses 3 by 3. I said this is the standard, like an average. You could use 2.5, which is the least, and you can use more than that. Okay, but the average is three, 3 by 3. So this is my French curve. I'm going to draw out my neckline. You have to draw the neckline first before you can get the armhole. Then for the back, standard neckline is 3 inches by 1 inches. Okay, you could do more than this. It's just an average. So I'm also going to use my French curve to... So we've gotten our neckline. So you have to get the neckline first before you can get the armhole. 
now to get now from the shoulder line i'm going to come down by one inch from the shoulder line this is one inch same thing for my back i'm going to come down by one inch from my shoulder line can you see then from the, the neck the tip of the neck to this line i'm going to have my shoulder slant now you may want to ask why are we slanting the shoulder yes because our shoulder is not straight okay it's slanted so that's the reason why when you sew your blouse or jacket it seems like the blouse is falling off it's because you sewed the shoulder to be straight supposed to be slanted so this is the um slanted shoulder for both the front and back now to the main menu which is the drafting of the perfect armhole it's very simple now from the slanted shoulder on the front i'm going to measure down this is eight i'll find the midpoint which is four then i will go in by three quarter of an inch or 0.75 then for the back i also find the midpoint from the slanted shoulder to the shoulder line sorry to the chest line that's four for the back i'm just coming in by half inch so for the front i'm going in by 0.75 for the i'm sorry for the front 0.75 for the back 0.5 then this is where your French curve comes in is very very important now the placement of the armor curve you place the curve in such a way that it touches the shoulder slant here it touches this point and of course it touches the chest line okay so this is it now don't try to curve um don't try to bend the, uh, the French curve you know you're trying to bend it side to touch this measurement and no as long as it touches this this and this line so I'm going to place my curve like this. Can you see? Meanwhile, if you draft your armhole properly, the curve should terminate exactly at um, your bust circumference measurement, not the same allowance. If it's well drafted. Okay, so I want to go like this. So this is the armhole for the front. Then for the back, the same thing. You place your curve. Make sure the curve touches here touches here and of course it touches the chest line so i'm going to place my curve like this i'm trying to look for the perfect location okay so here we go yeah so this is the front and back as easy as that okay then let me just add extra on the waistline you can mark quarter of your waist circumference measurements um my waist circumference is 30 inches Quarter of that is um, 7.5. So I'll add, make it 8.5. One inch for that intake. Then I can add my one inch for seam allowance. Same thing on the front. I'll mark quarter of my waist circumference plus one inch for that. Making 8.5. Then one inch for seam allowance. Okay. So I'm just going to link this like so. And here too, like so. So this is back. And this is front. So this is how to draft a perfect armhole. So don't forget, center front is cut on fold. Okay, and then this is the center back. Now, if you're having problems with um, your zipper, you know, a lot of people sew their, you know, their blouses or dresses, and also wearing it, they have this bulge at the back. So if you're still having that challenge, and you want me to do a tutorial on how you can adjust your center back line, Okay, so that after sewing, you don't have this bulge at the back. Please do so in the comment section. Yes, say so in the comment section. And uh, I'm probably I might do a tutorial on that. So that's the end of the tutorial. This is how to drop a perfect um, hole for both your front and your back. So thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye.